Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2014 Terex PT75 skid steer that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions. We'll get up close to everything, show you everything that I see, tell you everything that I know, and then of course we'll fire it up and run it through its paces, show you that the pins are pretty tight up front, show you the hydraulics are strong, let you hear the engine. As always, if you are in the market for a used skid steer, a used piece of construction equipment, or a used piece of ag equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for machines find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate that. Okay, like I said, this one's a 2014 PT75. This one's actually an OROPS machine, but they have added plexi side windows and a plexi door. It has a fan in there, but no HVAC. It is high flow pilot controls, 71 horsepower pre-emissions Perkins diesel engine, 3,100 pound lift capacity at 50%, 889 hours. As I get up close to everything, you'll see it's a pretty darn straight machine. When we fire it up here in a little bit, we'll do, uh, when we do the operational video, we'll show you these pins up here are pretty tight and the hydraulics are nice and strong. It has been repainted probably it looks like a little while ago because it's not fresh and they actually did a really good job and it doesn't look like it was bad underneath there but definitely has been repainted but as you'll see here they did a really good job that paint looks good a few little scratches underneath there but doesn't look like it was rusty at all underneath pretty darn straight here on the loader arms track on this side is really good lots of tread depth there this is a little bit different style tread pattern than i've than we've ever had here but i'm gonna say they're probably 80 percent or better just kind of going off the tread depth lots of life left there in these at least on this side we'll get up and look at the other side here when we go over to that squirrel cage is pretty good here this is the asv style track obviously squirrel cage looks pretty good both sets of pins and bushings look pretty good there. On the rubber rollers here, they've got a little bit of spots where they're getting, got some cracks in them and some chunks out of them. They're not perfect, but definitely some life left in them. They don't need replaced yet, but there are definitely some small chunks out of them. Pretty common on these if you've ever been around them. That's how they start wearing. This back one back here. This exterior back one, honestly, is probably the worst of them all. It has one little chunk out of it right there. Another one down here. The rest of them just have a bunch of small chunks. And again, it doesn't need replaced yet, but definitely has some wear. <clears throat> Does have a rear guard here on it. We'll get up close to that in a little bit. This back engine door is pretty darn straight, but obviously it's had the guard on it here. Coming around back to that. The frame and everything on that's pretty good. This mesh does have a couple spots down here where it's got kind of poked through and dented in a little bit. But the actual frame is pretty straight. Top of the engine enclosure, that mesh is pretty good there. Back of the cab's in pretty decent shape. Coming over here and looking. Okay couple little scratches here and there but honestly pretty straight back here as you'd expect with that protector there looks good here again like I said it has been repainted you can see kind of a couple little spots where underneath that paint it had some scratches but honestly it's a pretty good paint job track on this side matches up really well to the other side lots of life left here Looking at the squirrel cage on this side, again, definitely some life left here. Everything looks pretty good in here. Looking at the rubber rollers on this side, starting back here. Again, a couple little small chunks out here. 
I don't see any of them that are completely shot. Some life left in them. They're getting some cracks in them though. And chunks out. Over here on this loader arm. Again, that paint's pretty good. They did a really good job. Pretty straight. I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere on the loader arms or the back of the skid steer mount plate. As you can see, there were some scratches underneath that decal before they, I'm sure when they painted it, they put new decals on it. But honestly, like I said, pretty darn good looking machine, really. I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere on the back of the skid steer mount plate. Pretty nice 72 inch bucket. Pretty heavy duty bucket there. Cutting edges in good shape. Couple little scratches in that back corner of the bucket, but no bends or dents or dings in that bucket. No bows. It looks like it's pretty good. We'll go back here and take a look in the engine compartment. I've got the bolt out of this already. It was kind of gonna, it was gonna be too hard to do that with one hand. Uh, looking at this black mesh back here. It does have a small crack in it right here, but it's pretty straight otherwise. All right, and here in the engine compartment, Taking a look there at that radiator. The fins are pretty good. Couple little small spot right there where they're bent just a little bit. All right, getting a look in here. Pre emissions Perkins diesel engine. Nice and dry on top there. Kind of hard to get the camera down in there too far, but side of the block looks pretty darn dry. I didn't see any oil or diesel running down the side of that down there. Can't really get in great on this side either. Let me see if I can come over to the side a little bit and show you in here. Everything looks pretty good in here though. Again, like I said, I don't see any oil or diesel running down the side of it. We'll go take a look inside the cab. <clears throat> Everything up here looks pretty good. That front face plate's pretty straight. Got a few scratches here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary. It is used skid steer. That top plate's in good shape there. Five ports, because we're high flow on this one. Like I said, they've added a plexi door. Okay, looking down here. That bottom floor of the floor is pretty good. Foot throttle's in really good shape. Taking a look at the seat here. That bottom part of that seat cushion's good. I don't see any cuts or tears there. Back of the seat cushion's in good shape. I don't see any cuts or tears on the back. This uh, like felt liner back here is starting to peel away. As you can see there, it's pretty common on these. Just over time, it kind of pulls away from its spot. The spot's where it bolts in. Right side joystick. That rubber protective piece on that button's off. But the toggle works good. The controls work really smooth. Everything looks good down there. I'm looking at the left side joystick, your drive stick. Both, again, those little rubber pieces are off on those. This joystick seems to work good too. The protective boots are in good shape. Gauges down here look good. Like I said, I don't know how well you can read it. I can't get any closer with this camera set up, but 889 hours. Some park brake here. Auxiliary buttons down here. It does have a backup camera mounted. Here's the screen. I could never get it to turn on. Like I said, it does have a fan, but no HVAC. But I could never get that camera to turn on, so. If you're smarter than me, maybe you can get it to work. That don't take much. Everything looks pretty good up here. I don't see anything that's cracked or welded up here. All right, like I said, 2014 PT75, 889 hours. Plenty of photos on our website. That's listed down below in the description. We'll get a couple of these, uh, this hood shut and that we'll fire it up, get right into an operational video.